Today we're going to replace a whole house water filter, a simple filtration system made by the likes of Honeywell GE, and we're going to put in a new filter in there. For that, all we need is a key and uh, the filter itself, which is like this. Uh, of course, we're going to put a bucket underneath, and we're going to put the key on here and just twist counterclockwise. Before we do that, however, we want to shut off the water. There is usually shut off valves on both sides of the filter, and we're going to close those off just like that. We do want to make sure that we close off both the um, shut off on the supply side and on the filter outside. There's also a relief valve here, so we're going to press that. And get the key on here and just simply twist. See the inside there is pretty dirty. We're gonna wipe that down. The old filter looks very dirty. The new filter is very nice and white. I like to use uh, some baking soda, just uh, a little sponge to wipe it all down. Save a little water before you start the procedure so you have the water to wash it all out. I remove the plastic, plop it in there. Now put the canister back into the base and tighten first hand tightening and then using the key to get it nice and tight open the water back up on the supply side first and then on the filter outside to prevent backflow and now you're back to filtering the water removing all the sediment that is smaller than 10 microns 5 microns or even as little as 1 micron 1 micron ripped filter is what I tend to use. Um, that works uh, better than the non-ripped filters because it increases the surface area and the filter lasts a little longer that way. Uh, make sure to replace your filter once every three to six months at least as uh, per rating of the filter and depending on the amount of water that you use.